what's good youtube the truth here and i'm back with another video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe like the video we're gonna be back with content daily now it's been a long anticipated pro debut of mr andy cruz you don't know who he is two-time gold medalist legendary amateur uh cuban fighter he tried to come pro he tried to uh, escaped from Cuba a while ago, a couple failed attempts, but he's finally here. Signed with Eddie Hearn, and first, op first opponent did the right thing. He fought a former opponent of Keyshawn Davis. And let me tell you something, I haven't really seen his amateur fights, I just heard his name. Very well respected guy, and I'll be honest, man, he, I was very, very, very impressed, okay? First off, this is his pro debut and he's fighting a 10 round fight. Um, he showed great body work. I love the way he put the straight rights uh, to the solar plex, to the stomach, you know, Shakur does that, Floyd used to do that. I really like that. His, um, his footwork looked good. He's getting used to the pro style, right? He's getting used to the pro style. Obviously the power, everyone's gonna say, oh, he, was, he doesn't hit that hard. Yeah, well, it's his first fight in the pros, okay? So it's a little different than the amateurs. The amateurs, you're like, you're trying to get points, you're trying to win. In the pros, it's, you're trying to hurt the guy, you're trying to get power punches. So I'd say give him a couple more fights. He's gonna adjust to that. Not to mention the, the guy he's training with is, um, he's training with Boots, his dad. He's training with Boots in them. So, you know, he's gonna get adjusted to the pros real, real soon and I believe he's gonna be a very, very tough contender at 135. I believe him, Abdullah Mason, Keyshawn Davis, uh, Frank Martin, even though Devin Haney leaves, Shakur, uh, Loma even, they're gonna really make the 135 the hottest division in boxing, and I can't wait. But this dude right now, I'm telling you, he's gonna be something special. Um, they just, I just hope they don't rush him too bad because I'm already hearing him saying put him against Linares. That could be good because the guy has so much experience. You want to get, you don't want him to just like fight bums and like build fake confidence. So you want, you want to step up, but you don't want to step up too fast. So if I'm thinking of someone to give to him, I'm saying a Jojo Diaz. A Jojo Diaz is not really a power puncher, so he's not going to hurt him. He's, Technically, he's I'd say he's a B plus fighter. So, you know, he's is it is gonna be some resistance. It's not gonna completely he's not gonna just completely walk all over him. And um Yeah, I think he's coming off a good win, so why not? Okay. So I would think that would be better than Linares. Linares has a lot of power. Yes, he might not come to win, but he's gonna come to make you look bad. <laughs> You don't want that as your like your entrance it's like your second fight you don't want Linares. that's that's it's too dangerous so i think jojo diaz would be the perfect one or you know maybe a scrub because he still has to get used to the pros okay it's very different from the amateurs and um hopefully they build them up and then you know mega fight in the future we already know Keyshawn davis he's waiting for him he's been waiting for him to come to the division waiting to, him co to come to america and that time has come so hopefully in the future, obviously we're not right now. It's a little too early. Pretty sure Eddie Hearn was just clout chasing when he said, okay, first fight. Because as of right now, I'll be honest, Keyshawn Davis wins. He's used to the pros. He's trying to hurt you. Thing is still new. I said, give him some time. Then that's a real tough fight for Keyshawn Davis. And I would love it. It, would, it just makes the division so interesting. Another one, I, another fighter I forgot to mention was Kid Austin. He's also a 135 guy. He's gonna make the division hot. And I just can't wait, man. It's looking nice. Boxing's looking good. But anyways, let me know in the comments, who do you think Andy Cruz should fight next? And um, yeah, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.